And one of the most important things is that you have the opportunity to understand how many potential normal embryos you have and batch cycles. So you could go and do another cycle because I'm 40. I just met my person. I really want to have two kids because my sibling is really important in my life. Yet naturally, by the age I would be for that second child, it's going to be very hard to conceive. I can go through IVF and batch some embryos. So I could save two or three for that second baby that I'm not going to transfer for a few years. And that's called embryo banking. And that is changing the ways that people can potentially grow their family at later ages. But you don't know that unless you know what's normal or not. And it also gives you the chance to go and intervene right now. Because right now, especially if you're older, I'm going to have a higher chance of success than if I am four transfers down the road, and maybe there was one miscarriage in there too, we're suddenly now eight months down the road before I can go do another cycle and get more eggs versus if I found out that none of those were genetically normal. The average 40-year-old might have zero to one if they have average ovarian reserve per cycle. So they're going to need multiple cycles. It's not that it's impossible, but it's just setting that road of expectation for them. But if I don't get any normal embryos, I can turn right around and go get more. So I am using what's left in that ovarian vault each month to try to get to that opportunity of a pregnancy for you in a much more efficient way by utilizing genetic testing of these embryos.